Yeah. So I'm Tyler Huddleston. I'm Rahil Sadiq. And this is our project, the High Sensitivity Medical Diagnostics with Silicon Photomultipliers. This is for EE497 Senior Design 1 for Fall of 2016 with Brandon Blackstone. And this video is an overview of our Senior Design project after our first semester of working on it. So we're going to cover what is a high sensitivity medical diagnosis with silicon photomultipliers, our purpose, the progress, our goals, and the final schematic and PCB. So we plan to make a device that checks and counts the number of bacteria present in a blood sample with higher accuracy than the current tests. Current medical screenings for bacteria inside of blood use CMOS imagers, which detect groups of bacteria, but they are not sensitive enough to detect very small quantities. So our will use a silicon photomultiplier, which is sensitive enough to detect single photons and will allow us to detect a single bacterium. A small number of bacteria that goes undetected in an early screening can grow into a dangerously large population of untreated, so more sensitive tests are needed to detect harmful bacteria early on. The blood sample will flow over the silicon photomultiplier, which will output a pulse when a bacterium flows over it. The transimpedance amplifier, known as the TIA, and analog to digital converter, known as the ADC, then will process the signal to a logic level that will increment a counter. The count of the counter will then display the number of bacteria counted during the trial. The diagram here represents our process. As explained before, the blood sample will flow over the silicon multiplier, which will then output a signal which will flow through the TIA to the ADC and finally to the counter, which will output the bacteria count. The silicon photomultiplier is a matrix of cells that each absorb photons. When a photon is absorbed by a cell, the silicon photomultiplier outputs a small current pulse in the microamp range. Here, this is a transimpedance amplifier which will convert the signal of small current pulses from the silicon photomultiplier into amplified voltage pulses. And this is the setup we use for the ADC. The analog digital converter will convert the signal of voltage pulses from the transimpedance amplifier into a logic level signal. We will then input the analog signal from the transimpedance amplifier and square it up to full logic by outputting the most significant bit. The logic level signal will be input to the clock input of a counter and will be used to increment the counter. Here is our progress. So far we've designed the TIA and ADC circuit schematics, laid out the printed circuit boards for them, and received the PCBs. And we are expecting the silicon photomultipliers to arrive before February. We're also working with a mechanical engineering student, Rocky Sisamthong, who has designed the casing for our device and the channels for flowing the blood samples over the silicon photomultipliers. And over the winter break, we plan to solder the components to the TIA and ADC PCBs. We'll also test them individually as well as together to get them ready for demonstration at the beginning of next semester. When the silicon photomultiplier arrives, we will do basic experiments to verify its functionality as we expect it to operate. We will also make use of temporary counter with an Arduino and LCD that we have for testing purposes until we choose and design the counter for our final product. This will give us a basic working version early next semester that we will then work at calibrating and improving. Here's 
Here is the PCB for our ADC. The ADC will receive the signal from our TIA, which will be receiving its signal from the photomultiplier. Here, here we have the TIA PCB, which will receive its signal in current pulses from the photomultiplier. The TIA will then transform the current pulses into voltage pulses and output them into our ADC. And that's it for now on our project, the High Sensitivity Medical Diagnostics with Silicon Photomultipliers. Thank you for <coughs> watching. Thank you.